Hi everybody, it's Mark from Dunemot Leisure. Thank you for joining me today here at the showground at Dunemot's in Hilton. So today we've got for you a brand new Swift Carrera 194. So for all of you that haven't been fortunate enough yet to see one of these in the flesh, they're absolutely stunning. It's a 2024 model. It's on a nine speed automatic gearbox from a 2.2 140 horsepower engine. Um, the nice thing about these is everything. They're absolutely beautiful and I'm a massive fan. Um, the door mirrors are sort of, you can see this little sort of aluminium foil insulation in the middle. The blinds, they pull up nice and easy. They lock into place. There's also that big one piece uh, windscreen blind that comes up and it sits in this rail here forward. So if you've got the rear view mirror or reverse camera system fitted after, because they don't come with the rear, rear, uh, rear camera system standard, the blind won't interfere with the screen if you have one fitted. Uh, really nice chunky steering wheel and this beautiful looking digital uh, dash, electronic handbrake, uh, seven inch touchscreen multimedia system as well, built into the dash, but we'll show you more about that when we get on the inside black and chrome finished alloy wheels uh, this really nice new modern sort of black and blue decals as well i think they really set the color off of the van toilet cassette is just in there and then just in here lift that up that's your external cold water shower point just there is where you plug into the mains electric and then being a slightly longer van than standard these are 6.36 meters in total length you've got reverse parking sensors but again there isn't a camera uh, opening up the back door in the 194 what really sets these apart from other 6.36 meters vans is the bed layout because you get these really nice um comfy mattresses these are your sort of duvet infields that go in the side and you yeah. can if you want to fold these up because underneath there you'll see how these they'll fasten up to the sides so yeah. because you've got this nice garage floor underneath and yeah. you've got these points you can actually strap the beds up while you're traveling they fasten onto these points here yeah. and you can put everything inside so it's a real big good size garage space um the there is a heating point in there as well lots and lots of storage lots of little pull out drawers um there is they're really really clever what they've done by being able to fasten the bed up and then you can put your bikes in um awnings there's loads of room in there for anything you want to take with you um, and if you wanted to you can leave the beds made up as well so if you've got fold away bikes or electric bikes that collapse down there's loads of room in there for everything you'd need you've got blackout blinds and fly nets on the rear windows as well and these open and with it having the high bed they've moved the opener from here to up there which I think is a really clever idea as well um, moving on further around to this side of the van you've got a barbecue point on the corner here so, and then you've got your wind out awning from uh, fuel or too late from the Omnister. Uh, just there is your water infill point that does hide behind your door when the door is open. So make sure you fill your water up when you, before you park up, otherwise you'll be having to drive off and move around again. Uh, a brilliant little feature that I think Swift have is this little outside table. Just being able to sit here with your wind out awning out and not having to carry around another sort of awkward dining table or picnic table i think that's a brilliant little idea just for convenience and then you've got your electric step button there really really cool and then underneath you've got your three pin power socket so if you are sitting outside you can run power outside have your radio plugged in glass of wine in your hand let the sun shine enjoy your holiday uh, just here you've got your pull out area for your bin so that sits in there and then this piece you lift it up and that is a worktop extension which then comes to about here yeah. um so that you can see that that mounts in there like so and that's quite clever how that works as well they're really well designed the fiddly bit is putting it back in the right way but i'll do that in a minute anyway onto the inside down on the dash you've got um all your cab lines all the way around and you've got that nice panoramic view skylight that's loads and loads of lighting the driver seat and passenger seat rotate and turn into this nice four seater dinette but then obviously you've got uh drive diff three different drive modes on the nine speed gearbox on the swift so you've got eco normal and power uh, so one's a little bit quicker holds onto the gears a bit longer one's nice and steady if you're doing long distances and want to save fuel and one's just a normal drive mode and then you've got that touch screen there in the middle for all you can connect your phone to it um dab radio is all on there and if you want to um yeah you can use all that on there um usb port underneath and then the air conditioning in the middle then you've got these really nice modern looking 
flat fronted storage lockers. Yeah. Uh, you've got the LED illumination strips above and below, uh, so they're nice. And then just above the habitation door here, you've got a little storage pocket for phones or anything like that while you're traveling. Your little control panel, nice and simple to use, so that's all your 12 volts. A couple of light switches, turns everything on and off. And then wave your hand in front of these, and then you've got the hot water and the heating. So heating and hot water run off gas or electric or both with the hot water, put it on gas, put it to the maximum, and then that little bit there, the leaf, that's economical heat. So that's one set temperature. So when all these lights have lit up all the way round, the water is at optimum temperature for where you want it to be really to have a nice steady shower or keep the pots clean, that sort of thing. The dinette turns into a small bed. Um, but it's nice and handy because it is a four traveller three berth and the seats on the back here are all ISO fix as well yeah. you've got a TV point underneath here and this is a mounting plate because behind here is your toilet and shower so they put this panel on if you want to add a TV bracket you've got a little bit of extra thickness so you don't want to go through that into the bathroom and shower so just be really really careful but I do recommend you have that fitted by a professional um, toilet and shower all in one nice wet room really really beautiful super modern really well illuminated nice big shower head big magnetic door that pulls all the way across then you've got the drainer at the bottom as well yeah. um, and then you've got that little fold down sink really cool cute little idea really really finished beautifully um and then uh, obviously this side you've got your fridge freezer that's a 12 volt so it's an electric fridge freezer condenser fridge yeah. um a little freezing unit at the top um, oven and grill combi, hot and cold running water and a two ring gas hob and then you've got loads and loads of storage in the kitchen as well and then that's where your TV area is and these are um, how you empty the tanks just by turning, like flipping those off and then uh, it forces the water out from underneath. Um, they're really really nice vans, they are a little snug in the middle as you can tell but with a van conversion you've got to let reality kick in and you're going to be spending most of the time if you're not driving and not sleeping you're going to be sitting outside on your table and chairs listening to the radio chatting with friends or cooking on a barbecue you're not really going to spend all of your days studying <laughs> 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 um yeah but uh van conversions they're super popular at the minute they're actually taking over the market yeah. um but they're finished beautifully they're really really convenient you can fit down all the little narrow side streets in them use them exactly the same way that someone like an Amazon delivery van driver would um, but don't drive into posts as they like to uh, <laughs> uh, yeah but they're brilliant um, I might be an Amazon delivery driver watching this if you, <laughs> apologies if you're an Amazon delivery driver watching this I don't mean it um, yeah it's alright one drove into my post the other day and knocked it over but um, yeah uh, but they're really really nice they're super convenient and they're really really greatly specced this one also comes with um, solar panels all the Swift Rank conversions do um, but it's on site, it's available to view and I think they're great so don't be afraid to come down and see me and uh, I can do, help you as best as I can thanks so much for your time, see you soon